What's up guys? Uh, today we're going to work on this uh, Mark 1 Jetta. Um, we're going to try to get this fuel system ready to go before we set the motor in place. It's a little easier to work in that engine bay and, and uh, bend the fuel lines where we need them um, without a motor in there. So we're going to get started. But you can see we're pretty well ready to go. Um, I have done some of the work already, but normally in a Mark 1 these fuel lines run over here and bend up and come up into this area here. And what I recommend doing is just cutting the lines right behind here. Um, you can just cut them with a set of side cutters real quick and then we'll finish, we'll do a finish cut once you have them to length but once you get them cut out of this space you can start working and bending them up this rail here and we want to finish somewhere in this area um, I'll, sh I'll add some pictures in here and show you kind of how it was and, and the progression of doing so have a tubing cutter um, that's one of the better ways to cut these lines you'll get a nice finish on them um, you can get you can pick up a cheap one at Home Depot or Lowe's just make sure it's got a good um, a good cutting wheel in it so um, I'll show you the one that I use So under the car here, we put in a new <coughs> we put in a new aftermarket tank. Um, this is a Spectra tank. Um, it works fine. Uh, it's way better than trying to clean out your old tank or repair a rusty tank. Um, it does usually have like extra ports, so they they make the tank so it'll fit all variations. So it may have like three ports on the top part of the venting on the top part of the tank for vents that you may or may not use. Um, just make sure you cap those off. Um, other than that, I used a new OEM pump in the OEM housing. Um, you can see that there. This is a, a, a new line that you can still get. Uh, I think Rabbit Part stocks them. I think even like Rock Auto has them. Um, you can get a tank every now and then you'll see them available from uh, Rock Auto as well. Um, we're using a stock 2.5 fuel filter. Um, these uh, 07Ks use a uh, returnless system. Um, so this is your fuel pressure regulator and your fuel filter all in one. Uh, you have to use um, something like this or your, <coughs> your fuel pressure won't be right. So we recommend a stock you know replacement OE uh, fuel filter uh, these are quick connect uh, let's see if I can get you in there there we go um, they are quick connect fittings they're they're push locks um, just like the mark 5 would have had you can buy these fittings um, from several places online but they make them in straights 45s and 90s I used 190 on the top part of the filter and I'll add I'll add some pictures in here to show you a little better again this is a stock mark one pump um, that I just used a eight millimeter or five sixteenths banjo barbed fitting. Um, I'll show you a picture of that here as well. Um, and, and just replaced, <clears throat> I replaced the stock Mark I outlet on the pump with this banjo fitting which allowed me to go to a like a soft style hose. Uh, you could use a, um, a dash six if you wanted to go to AN fittings at this time, um, there's a lot of options you can do here. But again, 
This is just a stock Mark One pump. It will be more than sufficient for this car. Uh, even if um, even if we wanted to go turbo, this would be enough. I may add a surge tank if I wanted to go to a turbo setup. Out of the out of the fuel pump into the filter. The filter automatically sets the pressure and any excess pressure returns back to the tank. So there's a little tiny line right there that you can see going into the side of the tank. That's coming directly out of the filter. And so our return line is super short. We took, <clears throat> we took the ret metal return line completely out of the car. It's gone. So we just have one fuel line going forward now. This one fuel line is all the way back here to the stock spot. Um, this is where your accumulator was and we have taken the accumulator out this soft line attaches here uh, as long as you didn't break the fitting coming off Man, I cannot get around this sway bar there we go um, as long as you didn't break the fitting coming off of the accumulator there's actually a really nice rolled edge on the end of this pipe so a single hose clamp is fine. Um, this is eight millimeter braided hose. Uh, we stock it on the website. You can buy it several places, but it has a working pressure of 150 PSI, a bursting pressure of 440, I think. Uh, either way, it's, it's plenty for the 58 PSI that this uh, fuel system's regulated at. Um, made a nice soft loop here to make sure we don't get any kinks and then this line runs um, this line is coming from from the pump and into this line the metal line goes all the way up to the front of the car like I said we took out the return line and now we are up here the last thing that I have to do is just put a little edge on this you don't have to do that with with this pressure um, plenty of times I've put a soft line on this and just put two fuel injection hose clamps on there never had a leak um, however if you are <clears throat> if you are mounting your fuel filter up here which is an option uh, if you didn't want to remove that return line um, you can cut both of these lines close to the same length mount your return your <clears throat> fuel filter up here but you'll have closer to 80 to 90 PSI coming out of that pump on this line I would definitely recommend making sure you get a rolled bead edge on that uh, metal tube um, and then you know standard fuel injection clamps will work fine uh, I did not put the fuel filter up here uh, mainly because this engine bay is is pretty clean I'm going to try to have everything attached to the motor and not have things hanging off of the sheet metal of the car so that's just a that's just a personal choice. Um, there's plenty of room up here. I'll show you some pictures of some options of where you could put it um, right now. So, like I said, this is a returnless system. Um, so, coming out of here is where we're going to terminate our fuel line. Once this motor's in the car. Um, we'll convert to soft line coming out of here with a barb fitting and run this soft line back to that metal line like we talked about before there is no other line on this rail <coughs> on this rail will actually end up capping here and this one has a third option um, right here so that one's already capped but if you were on a stock fuel system stock intake manifold not a fuel rail um, you can see the stock one has a 5 16 barb already ready for you 5 16 8 millimeter um, line will work just fine for that and you would just connect uh, this barb to the metal line that came out um, up there near the strut tower